welcome back to my channel today it's Monday and I just feel like a in-between project um, yeah I am working on uh, several projects at this time and um, I thought it will be fun um, to do an in-between project a totally me project and um, <laughs> I have to tell you last week I got the chance to got my hands on several um, collections from Maya Design and from Pion Designs and oh my gosh I got these last week uh, in, in, in the mail and uh, they are so so amazing beautiful I never got my hands on those and um, I just feel I got to use them so I sorted them all out I stored them nicely <laughs> in my for by the rest of my papers and I just need to start on a project I just need to it feel like and well it's me time so yeah um, I just grabbed a piece um, a collection and this is a vintage spring basics now I gotta tell you it's one and a half week away from Christmas so it's a little odd to start with papers that has spring basics on it but yeah, before this is going to be online, Christmas is long time past, so it's it's awkward to use now Christmas papers and then put it online, perhaps January, end January, begin February, I don't know uh, how many projects there is going to be online in between, but I just felt, well, this is a so nice a project that I like to do. I'm gonna like to start with this. So I'm just going to real quick what the papers are. Very, very nice. I love my designs for there. And I got several, so it's not a complete a complete um, set because yeah, it was on sale. It was a bargain for me to, to get it. So I just grabbed what I had. So they so I have several um, same papers, I got uh, some, uh, only one, but I just grabbed what I had, what I could grab. Uh, it was a really good price that I paid for this, because normally it's a big expensive uh, brand. So when this came along my pot, I just had to grab it. And I'm gonna play with it. So yeah, it's it's nice beige and yellow and a little blue. So yeah, it's pretty basic, but but can we do something nice with this? Of course we can. And what kind of a project I had in mind? I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so you get inspired by me. That is a happy thing that I always like to hear. But YouTube is for me too an inspiration um, point. So yeah, Tammy, Tammy Merrill made a Christmas box. And I just saw that and I thought, oh my gosh, that is amazing. And I think it's easy to make. So I'm going to make that project. And it's, it's kind of a Christmas box. But you can use any kind of paper, special I told my mom, mom, you should make this with baby papers and then make it as a nice gift. Uh, it's, it's awesome. I love it. But you can make that with any other papers and I'm going to prove that to you to use this spring papers. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Super excited. Okay, grab your pen or pencil and write down. We are going to need two lids and so the top and the bottom we need two lids and that is the measurement for the chipboard and in inches you need two times five and five inches and in centimeters that's 12 and a half by 12 and a half centimeters two times then you get the sides of those lids you need eight times one by five inches or eight times two and a half by 12 and a half centimeters Okay, oops, <laughs> and then you need four times the sides, seven by five inches or twelve and a half by seventeen and a half centimeters. 
Okay, real quick. This one you need two times. This one you need eight times or in centimeters. That's this one. Pause me. Let me shut up <laughs> and write this down. Okay. You got it? Let's begin. Let us start with the first lid. I'm going to, put, I'm going to use some white. I love the white because it matches perfectly with the papers. And I am just going to start in the middle. And I forgot to go out my glue. Wait. Alright. Got it. <laughs> I glued the first part already on to see if I cleaned up my bottle of glue correctly. I just refilled it because I have my other bottle downstairs. Okay, just leave a little space in between here. Does not need that much, but a little. And then we go all the way around it. And add that chipboard all the way around. Just leaving a little open. Perhaps how much? Well, I think well, a little more than the side of the, the size of the chipboard. It will do. Okay, last piece. Yes. Okay. That's good. Now I'm going to grab my knife. And I'm going to cut this a bit shorter. And then we can cut it all the way around. Okay. That's cool. Grab my scissor and I'm just going to cut all the way around a nice edge. And then the next step is cut to that corner right there and then we cut um, yeah we need to cut this piece too but I don't want this too short I just want this a little bit to overlap so I'm just going to cut same way actually as I do my covers Hope you can see what I do. So I cut two, and I'm not going to cut all the way to the chipboard. Stay in between these two. Okay. Same as we have that distance from here too. Same as we always do with our covers. Just go all the way around. Clean up. Okay, that's I think good. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with the outside. So I'm gonna make a little fold line right there. I'm just going to bend this against the chipboard. I'm just going to fold this nicely around the chipboard place a little glue right on the chipboard and let it dry 
Okay, now when this is going to be dry, just go gently on the sides. Do this gently, you don't want to tear this paper. Okay. Yay! So I go all the way around and then I'll come back to you. Okay, I just did all the way around. And now we just make, of course, that little corner right here. And then actually, same as that big piece, we just fold this around the chipboard. Same here. We fold this around this chipboard. Alright. Use some glue. Oh, wait just a second. Ah, of course. Of course we need to attach those two. Uh 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 uh. Diane, Diane, Diane. All right, so what we need is apply one on the inside and one at the outside. And then just bend this, place this in that corner. Now this is hard because that glue is quite dry, but we need to use our hands. To hold it for just a second. Place that corner. Yes. See? Yay! Oh, I almost forgot how to do how we do it. Okay. Um, so yeah, next step is of course go all the way around. So um now we apply, let's say, this one right here, and then the other one on the outside, I think. Yep. Okay. So, oh yeah, of course I needed to bend this first, Diane. We need to bend that first. Alright, and then just push till this is nicely attached. And then bend this all the way around and the other one on the inside. And hold it for just a second. Let the glue do its job. And you can use any bone folder or something that you can burnish that glue correctly. Alright, so now now I'm gonna do it properly. <laughs> Better. So first um, I like to bend this one in and this one yeah also in but this we fold back now it's going to be good so one time glue this on the inside and one at this side okay then you both fold this in till these two are nicely attached and then hold these and fold it over and then hold it for just a second so your glue can attach nicely you can use your bone folder to give that a little help it needs a little help okay now the last piece is I should have I should have fold that already but of course I forgot. Okay. Let me fold this. Yes. Alright. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. Last step. Push these. 
to each other. Grab those two flaps and push that against the chipboard. Use a little help. And there you go. There you go. And now you can burnish this one. Should have done that earlier. But I can do it better with the next one. See, now you get a nice clean fold line. Yes, nice. Now I like it. See, that's our first lid. Nice, I like it. Yep, now it's time that we can decorate this, but I'm going to make first the other one. And the other one I'm going to do exactly the same. So, yes, cool. Now I am at two, and uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is, which I did not do on the first one, but we always can learn... We always can adjust. So the first thing I'm going to do is just fold these little pieces inside. So they are already nicely fold in. And perhaps we can do the same with this piece. It's better prepared. Yes! Okay, and now I'm just going to glue exactly the same. One out. And one in. Place this on its place. Fold it over. And one in. So one in, one out. That gives it just a little extra attachment. Yes. Okay. One more time. Let's do this in. It's already in. And one out. Okay. Place this in that corner. One in, one out. If you have too much glue on your hands, remove it as quick as possible because it's white and you don't want to make this too smoochy. See? Okay. This is already full in. One in, one out. On its place. Pull it around, one in, one out. Okay, push it down. Okay. Yes, last one is also prepared just a little. Way better right now. If you fold these first. But we can learn from our mistakes. One in, one out. Push it down. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Alright. Now last step. I'm going to burnish this nicely edge down. Be gentle with this. Not pushing too hard. But you want to. Make that fold line a little tighter. Yay! Two lids. Done. Next step. Now, 
we get to the point where we are going to make these. And I made these exactly the same size. Ooh, and I think, okay, one is fitting. But we need to get those papers around. And I think, see, with this one in here, it's pretty tight. I totally forgot that the lid needs to be a little wider than these. So I have to adjust this, these, and I'm going to cut down, I think one eight. First I'm going to cut these smaller. So that will be done for, yeah, not out of my hat. I think four, seven, eight, instead of a five inch. And for the centimeters, that, that's okay, because a 5 inch is already 2 millimeters larger than a 12 and a half. So the, the centimeters, I think, will be do good. But you can check that. Check that out before you are going to apply any. So if you are putting one in, and that fits, but the next one needs to fit in two. See? And if we put our... And now the third one is just too small. So that is how you can check it out. So I'm going to cut down a 1 8 shorter and then see if it fits. Okay, next che check. So I cut off this little piece. Let's check it out again. Okay, 1 goes in. 2 goes in. Three goes in, and four goes in, but it's tight. But I think when it's all, shall I need it a little more? Oh, I don't know. Shall I need it just one bit more? Check it out guys, check it out before you put your white cardstock on it. You need to check it out. Does this fit? Well now it fits. I'm gonna make it, yeah, because we, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I am gonna cut another piece off, just that little piece off, and then I come at the end result. I'm cutting two of these strips off. Let's measure. So I give you the right measurements. Yeah. It's on my measurements, it's 4, 13, 16. I think if you cut this down at 4, 3, 4, uh, I still believe a 4, 7, 8 will do. But mine is just a little, little tiny. Let me check another roller. I want to be safe. I want to be safe. So this is, yeah, it's still, it's still 4, 13, 16. Ow, okay. So that's an awkward measurement, but and now in centimeters it's 12.3 okay all right so i'm gonna cut again a piece off just a little piece just to be sure you don't want this not be fitting after we put our white cardstock on still need our design paper also on it so I don't want this to be small but I think yeah this is this is good now we have the place yes all right so that is my adjustment I made these yeah and it's still yeah but the seven eight will do if yeah you 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 choose please choose you can cut it at four three four or at 4.78 or 4.13.16. Check. Just check it out. It's somewhere in between. 
that's totally up to you. It, can, it better can be a little smaller than it's going to be too thick. So I suggest at 13/16. Yep, a four 13/16. That's that's what my ruler is telling me. And in centimeters, that's a 12.3. Yeah, so that is my adjustment, guys. Take a note, 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 note. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm gonna use my white car sock. See how much I need it. Two, I think. Yep, I need two. So I'm gonna attach these two. Yay. So I'm gonna attach these two papers remove it and attach these two I did use the score tape as my guideline so now let's see if it fits. Let's check it out. I think it will. Yes, it will. It will, it will, it will. Now I don't want that this is going to be too close to any edge. So this is good. So I'm not going to be too far, otherwise this is not. Right, let's attach it. I can imagine that I I hear still Christmas music. It's it's almost Christmas. So I still hear Christmas music. Ah! Ah, I love it. Giddy up, giddy up, go, go. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy, I know, but I have to make a confession. If it is right in uh, summertime, I still can hear Christmas music. I just love it. <laughs> It's, it gives me a warm feeling. I know, yeah, I, 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 it, it's cheerish. It's, well, not always, but most of the times it's it's a happy tune. I just love it. Okay, last one. Chipboard, we need to stay away a little bit more. Okay, let's make this a little shorter. And now we can wrap this all the way around, same as we always do. I'm gonna cut same as we always do with the covers. Bend and fold and burnish it down, same as we always do. Wait just a second, I have to sneeze my nose. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I do this just on camera, so you can hear it. <laughs> cool. Why hide it? Why? We all are human. <laughs> and God, it's almost Christmas, so it's a time of the year to get. A wet nose. <laughs> Not a wet nose. <sighs> okay. Alright, so just fold it over. Now 
always like to use my thumb too to give this a nice squeeze. Yes. Okay, where is my hey? Okay, where is it? Oh, I hide it last week. Yes, here it is. I just love to use some extra double sided tape. So it's a little quicker. But I still use wet glue. Okay, start in the middle and then. what we just had to fold. Okay, burn it down and the table will help it make it a little quicker. Here we go. I like to fold this a bit with my bone folder. But be gentle doing this, be gentle. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. wondering at this time what you're all going to get with Christmas. Do you have a nice family dinners? Do you have nice presents? I'm just wondering. Me, myself, we are not having that much presents because they have that age when they have a lot of wishes <laughs> and most of those wishes are too expensive to give at Christmas so so I can spend the money I like to spend with Christmas for them as make buying gifts for them that they don't want. So that is not an option because that's a total waste of my money. Um, I do like that they that they buy stuff that they want. So right, I always do, not always, a couple of years, is to give the money that I like to spend on Christmas. So they can save for what they want to buy for themselves. Like, example, a new phone or a car or um, a scooter, something like that. Last year my son wants to to go for his own on a holiday but yeah okay that's expensive too so I told him if I will give you money with Christmas would you spend it on your holiday and he was very happy with that so that means he does not have to save for the <laughs> very last day to can go on that holiday he wanted so for so long so yeah, yeah, that's, that's that's just, but that also means that I don't have any presents under the Christmas tree. Well, some few little things, but not big ones. I give money so they can spend it on their own. But I think a lot of places do that, don't you? Okay. 
Oh, and I also don't have a big family where we can spend all Christmas days, long dinners or long nights. Nope. Me and my partner, we don't have any brothers or sisters. So we only have our children and our moms and dads who are still with us. Not my dad, my dad passed away, but my mom still lives. Thank God for that. And my parents-in-law both lives too. And I have a stepdad, so yeah. Still have a lot of loving people around me, but not a big family. Never had, and that's okay. No worries, no loss. Nope. Okay, there we got it, guys. So this will go in the first one. Okay, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that it will. It's tight. It's tight. So, oh my goodness. It's tight. This won't work. Yeah. No, it's definitely needed smaller. This is not going to be working. This is way too tight. I thought it would be. It definitely needs that. That definitely four three four. Please make it four three four. Or a 12 even. Because now it's way too big. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And this is two of course. If I put it like this. See? Oh, this one fits. Hmm, that's odd. That's odd. But this one is not. This one is absolutely too tight. Hmm. Okay. What can I do then? This one is really tight. What can I do? What can I do? I can do it like this and put it on the right spot, just like this. But when this is in the right spot, I want that this fits on top, of course, and it does. It does not. It just is too too tight. So that means that I am gonna make a new lid and it's going to be a little bigger. Or I have to redo this piece. And I'm gonna take my chances on the lid. So I'm gonna... This is definitely too small. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> this is too big. This is too big. It is. Um, I'm gonna take this apart. Definitely. Definitely. Let's measure this piece up. 
So if I make this four, three, four, it should be doing that. Okay. Let's change it. <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> Okay guys, I have new measurements for you because this fits way better so you can put this in the bottom lid and then add this at the top lid and if we, as we add it, our uh, design paper, it will still fit. Alright, so please take a note at these measurements. I will give this in the beginning of the video so you can write this down so two by five by five inches so that's two times eight times one by five inches and for the elbow we need four by four three four by seven inches so four times four three four by seven inches and for the Nederlanders or Europeanen Twee keer 12,5 12,5 centimeters. 8 keer 2,5 bij 12,5 centimeters. En voor de album wie hebben we nodig? 4 keer 12 bij 17,5 centimeters. Oké. Okay. You got it? Yes. Oké. Okay. Because the other one just don't fit. I just had to make a redo. Alright. So. Um, next step. Next step. 